हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग टुडेज टॉपिक इज क्वांटाइजर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द क्वांटाइजर्स लेट अस बिगिन यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द क्वांटाइजर व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ अ क्वांटाइजर व्हाट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्वांटाइजेशन देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्वांटाइजेशन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन इज आल्सो ऑफ टू टाइप मिड ट्रेड एंड मिड राइज सो वेरियस क्वेश्चंस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द क्वांटाइजेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन प्रोसेस पिक द करेक्ट आंसर read out all the options which have been given over here the step size remains same a point this is the correct in the case of the uniform quantization b step size varies according to the value of the input signal no it's wrong next point the quantizer has a linear characteristic so this is also correct it means a and c are correct means d is the correct answer this is the correct one second question is zero forced equalizers are used for whether it is used for reducing isi to zero sampling quantization or none of the above so zero forced quantizer you must remember that it is used for reducing isi inter symbol interference to zero so correct answer is a question number 3 quantization noise can be reduced by dash the number of levels decreasing increasing doubling or squaring see the process of quantization replaces the true signal with the approximation and by increasing the number of quantization level the quantization noise can be reduced it means the correct answer is b Question number 4 is in PCM encoding quantization level varies as a function of frequency amplitude square of frequency square of amplitude in linear PCM the quantization levels are uniform we have already discussed in the video but in normal PCM encoding the quantization levels may vary according to the amplitude which is based on a law or mu law it means the correct answer is b the correct one question number 5 what is bit depth read out all the options carefully you must remember that one of the very important property of pcm signal which actually determines its stream fidelity means a bit depth which is the number of possible digital values that can be used to represent each sample means the correct answer is c question number 6 choosing a discrete value that is near but not exactly at the analog signal level leads to which type of error pcm error quantization error pam error or sampling error one of the limitation of pcm is what that is the quantization error and quantization error occurs when we choose a discrete value at some nearby value but it is not at the analog signal level means the answer is b which is the quantization error correct one Question number seven is the size of quantile interval is known as inter level, step size, quantile size, or level width. So the interval between the quantization level that is known as a step size. A step size is denoted by delta. The answer is B. Question number eight: Uniform quantization provides better quantization for weak signal strong signal weak and strong signals both and none of the mention so signal to noise ratio that is worst for weak signal level whenever the signal is weak signal to noise ratio will be worst it means it provides better quantization for high level signals means for strong signals so answer is b 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन प्रोवाइड्स बेटर क्वांटाइजेशन फॉर वीक सिग्नल कोर्स सिग्नल वीक एंड कोर्स सिग्नल एंड नन ऑफ दी मेंशन सी व्हाट हैपन अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन इट प्रोवाइड्स बेटर क्वांटाइजेशन फॉर वीक सिग्नल मींस आंसर मस्ट बी ए बिकॉज इन द केस ऑफ नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन द स्टेप साइज कैन बी वारीड अकॉर्डिंग टू द इनपुट सिग्नल वैल्यू सो दैट इज द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस सो इट मीन्स इट प्रोवाइड्स बेटर क्वांटाइजेशन फॉर वीक सिग्नल लेट एस चेक द आंसर येस दिस इज द करेक्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इज इन नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन द क्वांटाइजेशन नॉइस इज टू सिग्नल साइज means whether it is inversely proportional directly proportional equal or double so in sampling and quantization the quantization noise that is directly dependent upon the signal size means signal value whatever the signal accordingly it will be related to the noise means answer is b the correct one Question number eleven is the output SNR. It can be made independent of the input signal level by using uniform quantizer, non-uniform quantizer, both the types of quantizer or none of the mentioned. See, weak signal experience poor SNR in comparison to the high signal level. You must be remembering this. It means if non-uniform quantizer we are talking, then non-uniform quantizer like logarithmic compressor. which is used and the signal to noise ratio can be made independent of the input signal level right it means the answer is what b which is the non uniform quantizer the correct answer question number 12 is non uniform quantization includes compression expansion compression ex and expansion both or none of the above so compression and expansion gives the feature of a non uniform quantization means the combination of both so answer is c next question is the quantization will be finer when smaller the number of discrete amplitudes larger the number of discrete amplitudes does not depend upon the amplitudes and none of the mention so larger the number of discrete amplitudes finer will be the quantization we have already discussed the number of times means the answer is b question number 14 is in pcm system the quantization noise depends upon number of quantization levels only sampling rate only both sampling rate and number of quantization levels or none of them so in case of pcm system quantization noise depends upon two things one is sampling rate and the other is quantization levels means answer is c next question is the signal to quantization noise ratio in pcm system depends upon here we are talking about snr signal to quantization noise ratio whether it is dependent upon sampling rate number of quantization levels message signal bandwidth or none of the above so you must be remembering it and you can pick the option very quickly it depends upon number of quantization levels yes this is the correct answer Question number sixteen is quantization noise occurs in TDM, FDM, PCM, or PWM. So quantization noise occurs in the case of pulse code modulation (PCM). Answer is C. Question number seventeen is in order to reduce quantization noise. Here the noise is being reduced. One must increase the number of standard amplitudes. send pulses whose sides are more nearly vertical use an rf amplifier in the receiver or increase the number of samples per second so quantization noise can be reduced by increasing the number of standard amplitudes means the answer is a see in the case of the quantizer you may find the questions there is a very little difference very uh, the, the difference is very less means there will be a variation of the same set of questions 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 द नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन लीड्स टू रिडक्शन इन ट्रांसमिशन बैंडविड्थ इंक्रीज इन मैक्सिमम एसएनआर इंक्रीज इन एसएनआर फॉर लो सिग्नल लेवल्स सिंपलीफिकेशन ऑफ क्वांटाइजेशन प्रोसेस सो नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन लीड्स टू इंक्रीज इन एसएनआर फॉर लो सिग्नल लेवल्स राइट because in case of non uniform quantization step size can be varied according to the input signal value so answer is c let us check yes this is the correct one question number 19 pcm system use non uniform quantization in order to raise snr for low level signals cut down the required bandwidth of transmission increase the maximum snr or none of these so pcm uses non uniform quantization to raise snr for low level signals see you can find out the same question we have discussed in a number of ways yes this is the correct answer question number 20 signal to quantization noise ratio for linear quantization of a pcm system which using 8 bit words for the analog signal so here signal to quantization noise ratio for linear quantization is being calculated you must have derived the derivation or at least you must be remembering the formula signal to noise ratio it must be less than or equal to 4.8 plus 6 v this is what in dbs when we are talking about the this expression is being written in db v is the number of bits so here the value of v is 8 so this is less than or equal to 4.8 plus 6 into 8 so you just add it out so you will be getting for sorry 52.8 so signal to quantization noise ratio must be less than or equal to so at least means the higher limit that would be 52.8 db it means the answer is a the correct one next question the signal to quantization noise ratio in a pcm system depends upon the three factors have been given sampling rate number of quantization levels message signal bandwidth on the basis of these three various options have been given 1 2 and 3 2 and 3 2 only or 3 only so signal to quantization noise ratio in case of pcm system it depends only upon the number of quantization levels means the answer is c the correct one question number 22 is for uniform quantization with 32 levels the quantized output can be represented by n binary digits where n is what 2 raised to the power n this is equal to 32 so n is equal to 5 it means the answer is a the correct one question number 23 In a PCM system the number of quantization levels are 16 maximum signal frequency is 4 kHz the bit transmission rate you need to calculate and you have to pick in the given options see here number of quantization levels being given means l is equal to sorry 16 l is 16 it means 2 raised to the power n this is equal to 16 so n is what 4 at the same time maximum signal frequency is given which is 4 kilohertz so you can calculate the sampling frequency which is equal to twice of fm means 8 kilohertz and when you have to calculate the bit rate i hope you must be remembering the formula the bit rate this is equal to what n into fs n is 4 fs is 8 kilohertz so you will be getting 4 8s are 32 kb ps so the answer is c let us check yes this is the correct answer question number 24 which is the quantization process rounding truncation rounding and truncation both or none of the mentioned so rounding and truncation that is actually the part of the quantization process it means the answer is c see 
quantization process you have done you have been going through a number of times whenever there is a requirement to convert analog signal into the digital one then you have gone through with this particular process so here answer is c quantization is a process you have to fill this space few to few mapping few to many mapping many to few and many to many so quantization is a many to few mapping process many levels and out of those many levels you have to pick so this is a many to few yes this is a correct answer question number 26 is quantization is a process fill this particular space it is a non linear process reversible process non linear and reversible and none of the mentioned quantization is a non linear and irreversible means here reverse operation is not possible this is irreversible it means it is non linear means a is the correct answer question number 27 uniform quantizer is also known as low rise type mid rise type high rise type none of the mention uniform quantizer is also known as a mid rise type quantizer right so answer is b there are two types of uniform quantization one is mid rise second is mid tread right in case of mid rise and mid tread there is only a variation how the signal is passing through from the origin next question one bit quantizer is a one bit quantizer is also known as a two level comparator or it is a hard limiter so two level comparator and hard limiter means the answer is c yes this is a correct answer Question number twenty nine. Non uniform quantizer distortion. You have to fill this space. Increases distortion, decreases, does not affect, or none of the mention. So the distortion can be reduced by using non uniform quantizer because it has have it has a capability to vary the step size depending upon the input. It means here distortion decreases. So answer is B. Question number thirty. Quantization noise is produced in all pulse modulation system, PCM, all modulation system, none of the above. Quantization noise. This is strictly produced in the case of the pulse code modulation. So B is the correct answer. Question number thirty one. The mean square value of noise voltage. in terms of the step size step size is denoted by delta so what is the value of mean square value you must have derived this formula so this is nothing but delta square upon 12 yes this is the correct answer so mean square value this is delta square upon 12 it is also known as a quantization error quantization noise power or normalized noise power next and last question mathematical expression to calculate the bandwidth of a pcm system so the bandwidth of a pcm system it must be greater than or equal to v into fm you must have done various numericals based on this formula so c is the correct answer thank you so much for watching this video